Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring, and in this episode we're going to be taking on the Volcano Manor, I guess you'd say Legacy Dungeon kind of area. Uh, so most of the quest for this should already be done. If you are following the walkthrough, we should just need to talk to Tanith here, and we'll get the uh, the Taker's cameo. And now she's going to say that we can see the Lord, which is why we're doing this area now. Um, this is obviously a shortcut to the boss, so if you want to take this on now... You can do. I'm gonna make sure I use my runes in a second. Uh, that's Rykard in there, and we could go in there, grab an item, and quit out to make our lives a little easier on ourselves. But we actually want to take on the rest of the zone. I don't know if we can get out from this bit. No. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll be speaking to these guys um, a little bit more later on. Now, if you're here for more details on on the assassinations, the way it kind of works is um, you'll you'll speak to Tanith and then you'll have a letter that gets left for you in this um, room just down the way. It's usually on this table. Obviously, a lot of the NPCs have moved for me right now because we've done quite a bit. And whilst you're doing those, you're also going to want to speak to Rhea, uh, who should... Um, turn into a lizard. She's not showing the lizard form right now. Um, and then once that's happened, you'll basically want to come over this way. Um, where there will be uh, a secret door. You can't attack here, so you have to roll into this to get through. That kind of unlocks all of this. I know that people following the walkthrough, this may um, be stuff that you already know. But I just want to make sure that anybody that happens to tune in right now... Um, that they know this. Now, note that I have decided not to take this area on until we've done the final assassination, which is over in the um, mountains, mountaintop giants area. Here we go. And it's just over where this shack is. So until you've unlocked this area, um, you don't want to kill the final boss, because if you kill the final boss, then all the rest of the quests will be moot. So, um, you could do everything that we're going to do now, uh, if you are coming in at this point, but don't defeat the final boss until you have um, cleared the area, is what I would advise. And again, just to make sure that everybody's seen everything as we're going through here, because obviously we, we've already picked up a lot of the loot here. Um, I can't remember exactly what's where, but I'll show you guys where to go to make sure you get everything. Excuse me, snail, out of the way. Loot on this guy. You're going to walk around to the left. This will kind of loop around um, the manor that we're just in. Excuse me. God damn it. Come on. Uh, I believe these can actually drop the serpentine... Um, serpentine arrows? Or something useful. I can't remember what it was now. It was in the stream when they started dropping a few bits. Uh, this will be um, a false wall. So you'll need to hit here to come on in. And you'll have more loot in here. Again, I can't remember what it is. This this is the guy that's holding it. Uh, I think it might be like a prayer book. Could be a talisman. I can't remember now. Uh, but just, just so that everybody's seen everything, and so that, you know, as we're running through this area, people aren't like, Hey, you didn't didn't go around there. It's like, yeah, we did, just a while ago in the walkthrough. Um, so next up then, we should go down the stairs, and there should be a Bloodhound Knight. Bloodhound Knight? I think that's what we call them. Come down the stairs, gonna go nice and sneakily. I think you can sprint and sneak though, can't you? Yeah, get a little faster. A little faster. Technically, you don't need to fight him, he's gonna be facing away from you in the corner there. Uh, but again, he's he's guarding a piece of loot, so you might want to come on in and just, you know, upset his life a little bit. Have the loot just there. And then we can come on through the gate here. For the grace. Now, again, uh, there are multiple ways to skip lots of this. Um, if you don't like the route we're about to go, which is turning right, we are going to clear this out the proper way. Uh, you'll note that my bridge is already up. That's because I've already been here. Because if you go to the uh, Ray Lucaria Academy, which is just down here, uh, as you... Um, I can't remember exactly where it is in here now, looking at the map. As you go up the water wheel, which takes you towards the... Um, where is it? The classroom? 
school the schoolhouse classroom. Uh, if you go all the way up and down, um, down at the bottom, I think it's like in this pit. There's a there's a Iron Maiden type enemy down there, and if you let it uh, hug you and die inside of its belly, it'll transport you basically up to the top of where that um, lava waterfall thing is over there, or a little bit further on. Uh, you can drop down, do like a whole loop around thing. It's already in the walkthrough, but just in case you've come out here, hey, well, your, your bridge is already down. Well, it is, yes, but we're not going to use it. Um, in addition, just uh, here, if this is your first time, and I think you can do this without the bridge being down. Can you do it? Can you do it without the bridge being down? No, you have to have the bridge down to do it. You can jump onto this uh, and jump over there to where that Iron Maiden lady is, and that's going to be a Sombering 7, which is very nice because that makes it very easy to get a plus 9 weapon quite early in the game, which, well, it, does, it doesn't trivialize the game, but it does make it considerably easier. In any case, I feel like we've had lots of explanation there. I'm so sorry to anybody that, you know, already knew all of that. Um, but I just feel like we needed to need to make sure that was all nice and clear for everybody. So we're going to do the, uh, the jump off this way first, just because um, it makes me feel better about myself. Um, we've got lots of enemies around here. Although, realistically... Yeah, we should be able to kill them nice and easily. Which I don't even feel bad about because this area is horrible. Maybe not horrible, that's the wrong word, but... It's got a lot of enemies in it that, you know, just aren't very pleasant. So we'll, we'll clear along the rooftops first. We'll make sure we get everything, though. Um, I'm going to use this bit like that. Come along here. Where is it? There should be some loot here. I didn't already collect it, did I? Make sure we get you. Damn it. Are you aggroed? Yes. Let's deal with you. Before I end up falling off, let's go and do the, the actual platform where we can get back from first. So we're going to come across here. There's a patrolling Iron Maiden type enemy here as well, I think. Can't see it patrolling though. Usually it's going up and down that area there, which is why we've come for the drop off. Oops, that's not what I meant to do, but it'll work. Excuse me. Dodge. Oh no. Wait. I'm gonna die here now. Damn it, freaking poison. Oh my god, it can't even move. <laughs> Okay, so after my stunning display of amazingness there, I decided we're going to play uh, Magic Archer over here. I think it's gone too far now, though. Yes, come on, come back, come back. Uh, doesn't want to, doesn't want to play. Right. It'll come back down eventually, but I don't want to wait now. Let's be a bit more ready for this. I don't know if you can backstab these or not. Careful of that because it's a grab. <laughs> Gotta get you down quickly because otherwise it's gonna get messy. I really don't want that. Excuse me. Put that one. There we go. Freaking poison bombs everywhere. So that clears up this way, uh, which is kind of helpful because it means now when we're running up here in a bit, you won't get be, boom, <laughs> won't be getting bombarded by freaking poison bombs everywhere. Uh, that's an optional bit just there. You can see the um, you can see the uh, the key there, or the slot hole, whatever you want to call it. Where is the Iron Maiden? Get rid of you. It's, oh, oh is, is that is it that one? That one looks more colourful. Look. Hasn't aggroed yet, that's weird. Usually it patrols them down here. So it's kind of weird that it hasn't set off. Can I cast this? No. Okay. I don't really want to waste it on these easy mobs. This guy, though, is nasty. We want to be um, smart about how I drop down. There's a bit of loot on there, but we'll grab that in a minute. For now. So we've cleared that bit already of loot. Cleared this bit of loot. Don't think there's anything on there. That's just an enemy. 
So it could like drop off that way if you really want to look. If you just for like, you know, completion's sake of you know, seeing where you can go, the shortcuts you can take. You don't have to fight through uh, everything that we just did. You can, if, if, you, if we happen to die again, we can just drop off this way and continue along the path. So with that done then, we can drop off here. We can come to the bridge. I suppose we could go back up to drop off for that bit. Which we probably should do, otherwise... Otherwise, people won't like it. Let's get that as well. Quick! Oh, it got to the side. Never mind. We'll grab it in a bit. We'll, we'll come back for that. Uh, so we want to go this way. I think it's just a sombering stone. So we're going to come on here. Um, we can start this fight from there. I don't think there's too much. Yeah, it's going to come from behind us. So we can... Sure, he goes down nice and easily. Really not all that much in the way of awesome loot there, though. Deal with you. Deal with you. We can poison moms. Excuse me, can you have some light in the situation, please? Feels like so long since I've been around here. I did this way earlier in the stream series. And then realized that <laughs> taking on the boss stopped us getting the assassinations. Like, oh no. <laughs> that was real bad. Erd seal. Erd tree seal, even. It's probably a pretty big one to be picking up. Deals with most of in here. Is there a drop-off down here? I thought there was steps back up to the main road. I guess not. I know there's this bit where the bridge goes across. It's just where the dogs are. Oh, I remember this bit. This is where there's a horrible jump. Uh. <laughs> is it here? Yeah, it is. Oh, I hate this jump. I hate this jump. It has to be from here as well. I tried doing it from the uh, from the top and it didn't work at all. I don't want to do it. I'm going to die. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it all for you guys. I think it's a rune arc. Oh, he did it. <laughs> Stone sword key. Okay, okay. I suppose it's not the end of the end of the world. But yeah, that I hate that jump so much. It was it was horrific in the uh, in the live streams. But um it's fine. We did it. Obviously, Take note of what's down here and decide whether or not it's worth jumping off for because uh, it's a pain in the ass. Sorry, Big Pot. We ain't having you ambush me in the lava because uh, that ain't good for nobody. Spotting shield. What else down here? Yeah, this one. And there's something in the middle as well, so we've got to go grab that. Which is why we kill him there, because uh, oh, although it looks all nice and friendly because it's not attacking you, um, it will aggro when you start coming across the lava. So um, this is where it wants to try and ambush you right here. And you're grabbing this. No, I'm going to get blown up. That was close. Smithing stone. Go across here. Jump. One of the strangest things about this area for me is how um, accessible the lava is. You can just run in it most most of it. Anyway, maybe not that bit. No, nope, we can. Uh, oh man. <laughs> so if you get caught in it, unfortunately, uh, oh, I should have equipped a dagger. Unfortunately, you just have to kind of jump your way across, uh, and it's not because it speeds you up; it slows down the damage we're taking. 
because rolling doesn't speed you up at all. So you just have to have to jump it out. It's a real freaking pain. However, if you have something like Bloodhound Step, you can get through this much faster. So we should probably put that on a dagger just so it's available. Right, let's try again for this jump. This way. I almost forgot that this area is like crazy for the platforming. Really? <laughs> Do you have to? <laughs> Not here. I mean, well done dropping into that, sir. Where did they come from, anyway? Really know where they came from. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, nothing around here. It's just kind of a showcase of other stuff. I think the bridge is usually down, so I guess you can usually see that there. And we are back around. Such a lovely little loop. Okay, so. Uh, that is the... Uh, Yarnum little section done. <laughs> I don't know how this, is. this literally looks like a section from from Yarnum to me. I love it. I do love it. Right through this way. Uh, in this room then should be Iron Maiden and a talisman, but I can't remember what the talisman is. What will it tell me? It should be oh, Erd Tree Seal. Uh, we've got the Earth Tree Seal. We are here. Crimson Amber Medallion. Okay, yeah, it's not too, not too crazy for us. I think that's the thing you want. Right, come on then, you. Let's... I don't know if we can come out. We must be able to come out. Yeah, it can come out. Oh, man, it's going to grab me. Don't grab me, it's not fair. Come on, where's my ice proc? It's going to grab, it's going to grab. No grabbing. If I had it grab me, I'd have been dead there. <laughs> Just running around, casual 200k, we get two levels. Mm. And I think something spawns when we're upstairs as well. I could be wrong, but just be careful. Excuse me, no! Get off! These things freaking one of the most annoying, like, hollow-type enemies ever. There we go. Crimson Amber Medallion plus one. I think that's it from here. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, you, you must be the other one. It must have come down. Interesting. You stay right there. Especially if you've got a leash point. I'm more than happy for that. Freaking moves. Some of the moves in this game. Oh, now it's come in. What? I thought you were leashed. That'll do, there. Right, now we're going to have to have a look to see whether or not that is the one from the beginning of the area. It just decides it wants to come down. Hello, dog dog. Goodbye, dog dog. The good thing is, I think we died, didn't we? Which means... Oh, no, I think we still missed the, uh, the bug, and I'm not, re I'm not resetting for it right now. Um, so yeah, it was this one. Okay. Cool, I guess. Well, whilst the opportunity is here. That. I need to find out what was in that bug, don't I? Yeah, so the bug drops a Sombring 5. So unless, unless you're desperate for it, I'm, uh, I'm not too bothered about kind of coming back for that. Which is, which is all good for me. Right, so. Uh, that's all done, that's all done. So now we're going to head across the bridge here. 
So you can have your summon out for pretty much all of this area. Which is really interesting because I feel like you'd lose it. <laughs> I guess it'd help with the, with the uh, Iron Maidens. I don't think you can have it out this long. So you can backstab them. There we go. <laughs> Question answered. Cut stone, something, yeah, to the right side. Blocked me. Excuse me. Close to the next grace now, which is good. Um, let me go on here. And then inside there are um, like these. So it's, it, it, we've got two types of enemies in there. One type is um, like an alarm. It's like a it's like a man trapped in like a weird Iron Maiden-y looking. Um, I really don't know how to describe it. Like a big kind of trap. And they like scream. I'm just looking at that piece of loot and thinking, I wonder how I get there because I can't remember that. Okay, so just double check what that was. That is a uh, fireproof dried liver. And if I spot the way to get there, we'll go there. But I can't. I can't remember getting there in the, in the walkthrough. In fact, I don't remember seeing it. However, uh, here you're going to see these enemies here. Um, if they scream, they're going to summon like these other enemies that want to grab you and bite your face, so you need to kill them pretty quickly. Other, other than that, they're quite um, pathetic enemies. I guess these ones don't scream. They're not showing you what, that they can do that, which is weird. Excuse me. I wonder why they're not doing it. It's kind of weird, actually. Yeah, so usually they'd scream, and this is the enemy that will usually come and help them. And it, like, just wants to eat you. It's not very nice, if I'm honest, so... Um, just trying not to bother with them. Open up the door. It's gonna allow us to get back in there a little easier later. Up and blood clot. You can see you can just get around all, all over the place here. Don't think we want to drop off here. I don't know if that would work as a shortcut or not. I didn't try it. But we're going out there anyway soon enough. So with our surroundings surveyed, we can progress downstairs. Going to be lots of those enemies that have got like bags on their head or whatever you want to call them. It's like Miyazaki's been playing too much Pokemon. He's made his own trubbish. Hello, you. I can. See, it doesn't let you lock on. I can see. I can see you right there. Give me. Give me. Give me the Moonblade. Run it down. Moonblade it out. And there's also you. We need to be careful of you. Is there more? Sometimes they can get you from like kind of far away, and we don't want that. We're gonna like get you. And I'm gonna get you. Yes. <laughs> Eat the shockwave. Ah, that's probably going to be the first one that tries to actually alarm. So let's save ourselves the hassle. Oh, it's aggroed anyway. Are you coming? Hang up. Take that, thank you. Right. Room in there. Is that done? Yes, this room. Something's gonna sneak up behind me. And then, and then so that's path of progression. So that's gonna be where the ladder is. Just check this other side for a second. Should be a grace here. Actually, uh, yeah, should be a grace. Where's the grace? 
Where is my grease? I'm sure there's grease. Here it is. <laughs> Always went straight past it. You know, it's like, things are getting a little low. Could you please give me a grace, sir? Let's just come out to the balcony. Grab you. I have one of those on there. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Come on then, come on then. I want to fight you. No. There we go. There we go. Explosive great bolt. We don't really need it. And that should be... Part one of the zone. So, it's fairly safe to rest here. To show you guys. This should just basically be um, one of the bag faced enemies out here. Which I don't think should aggro straight away. Because it's kind of waiting for. Where is it? Yeah, it's kind of waiting for its friend to stream to, uh, to activate it. So we can head pretty much straight out there to continue with the zone. Um, and then it'll be Godskin something or other at the top of there. We should get the Magmoem here as well, I think, actually. Now I think about it. Which will be fun. Let's see how many, how many runes it takes to level right now. We get one level. Woo! Uh, uh, being as we're fairly safe in this zone, I'm going to continue with the intelligence now. I really want this to hit 80. It's got to happen soon, so. This is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully this helps you guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.